Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number 29. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, all that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, GT All-Stars Championship race number four. We are going to Brands Hatch for this one, the GP circuit. I do like Brands Hatch. Brands Hatch is a very fun track, very British. Um, I don't know if it's classic or not. I think it's a classic track. Um, I know Brands Hatch has definitely been around for at least 40 years, 30, 40 years. Uh, but we are going against two Bugatti Veyrons, an Event Store, Merchilago, Viper, SLS, all that stuff. Same cards from the last. Uh, section so let's do this right let's do this brand hatch gp circuit we have 12 very powerful performance cars uh and we are in the most powerful one today we are going to be driving this corvette and um well it has 800 brake horsepower um, so I think it's definitely well suited for this championship right now. Um, the maximum rate in performance points is, I think, one, uh, one. Mate, there's not even 100 performance. Um, the maximum is 650. Um, and we are 612 at the moment. So we could, as well, we haven't even got, um, stage three engine we've only got stage one um it is possible for us to put stage three in and make this even more powerful and i have a feeling if we need this for a later race we're going to be uh pumping it with extra horsepower just to see how overpowered it is we're not managing to stay on the track though there we go. good standstill Coming through the tricky section of Brands Hatch now. Perfect. Overtaking the Dodge. The Dodge and the Corvette are basically like direct enemies. The Dodge Viper and the Corvette. They are so similar cars, like, I mean, they look completely different, but their goal is exactly the same. A muscle supercar. A supercar with a V8 that has muscle car heritage to it. That is the only thing those two cars are born to do. Right, here we go. We are sneaking up on the Aventador. It's not really sneaking up though when we're in a massively loud Corvette. With a massively loud driver too. Veyron, get out of my way! Is that gold plated exhaust? That exhaust looks very gold from here. Ah, <laughs> it just crashed into a Veyron. I feel really bad. Days. It works. I mean, that wasn't intended, but like it worked. Come on, come on, squeeze past. Perfect. Come on, come on. Let's do this. Nice. Perfect. Oh. Nearly drifted our way into the wall there. That wouldn't have been good. Awesome. A 
I can't even remember what the final track is. I think it might be Suzuka. Um, it would be really good if it is Suzuka. Um, but I'm not 100% sure. I cannot actually remember what it is, so... Oh my gosh, off the track again, lovely. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, coming up to the hairpin again for the fourth time in this race. Awesome. Honestly, though, I'm not looking forward to the uh, Like the Wind missions, because obviously those are, like, super overpowered cars. Perfect. Perfect. Right, on to the final lap now. We're going to aim for the fastest lap yet. Perfect. I think that was as late as we could break there. Nice, nice. I think this as well is the only walkthrough I've seen of Gran Turismo 6 in 1080p 60 frames a second. So I think I'll take the achievement for that. Because literally no no other... Um, I mean, to be fair, most of the walkthroughs are like... This is like a seven-year-old game and most of the walkthroughs are like from 2016. So... Perfect. And coming across the line, finish. Da -da -da. Seven minutes and 35 seconds for that race. That is very good there. Uh. I'll take those three stars and 27,000 credits onto the fifth and final race of the championship. Race five. Where are we going? Grand Valley Speedway. Nice. Right, let's do this. Grand Valley Speedway. This is going to be fun because uh, the cars... Our Corvette doesn't like to pull around corners too much. Um, it's sort of quite slow in corners. Um, and this track has a lot of S-bends, so... It's going to be interesting to see how it uh, turns out, how uh, the Corvette actually handles the track. 
It will also handle it better if I remember to shift up. Right, here we go. We got uh, GTRs in front. What are you doing? Try not to ruin my car today. That's why it doesn't like to go around corners. Oh no! Oh, I'm sorry, I spun everyone out. And that's what I mean by it doesn't like taking corners very fast. That was very slow. That was like the world's slowest corner. Can I get like Guinness to come over and check? And give me an award for taking the corner at the slowest speed possible. Thank you very much. Look at that wheel spin though. Come on, come on, come on. Round the corner. I'm looking forward to the mission races. They're going to be really fun to try out. Obviously, we've been doing, like, racing for ages now. Because there were so many more races in International B than uh, National A. And once we finish this championship, we'll be able to move on to the next one. Um, we'll be able to move to the next series, first of all. And also, yeah, this is why corners are very tight. Uh, we'll be able to move to the next series and also uh, do some mission races as well. I love the mission races. They're so much fun. And the one-make races. They're good as well. Um, I think in the next episode, we've actually got a one-make race with this exact car. So, hopefully, it will go well and in our favour. I mean, we do have a big winged crinkly Corvette now, so... It's like a bag of walkers. For anyone in America that doesn't know what walkers are, they're like Lay's chips. But it's the British version, because we can't have Lay's, because I think that's claimed over here. Come on, change camera. Thank you. Much better. Much appreciated, thank you. I think the word much appreciated is a, like the most British saying ever. This race is going to take about 10 minutes. All right, come on. Lamborghini Aventador. Let's try and catch up. Here we go. I caught up with a Lamborghini Aventador. Awesome. Oh no, I crashed into the Veyron. I feel really bad. I feel so bad when I crash into the Veyrons. Because, like, it's a Veyron. It's a nice car. I think that's the uh, 2013 Veyron because it's got the uh, LED strip of the lights. And I think this one up ahead is the 2009 one. Because if you look, it should have round bulbs. And there you go. See? Headlights are round. That's okay. That's, uh, oh, I can't speak. That's how you can tell which one's which. Do you know, I hope in the future Bugattis aren't classics. Just because then I could buy a Bugatti Veyron for 50,000 and then be like, ha, I own a Bugatti Veyron. Joe, you know, the funny thing is, right, the Bugatti Veyron is like a celebrity in the car world. And it's like everyone who is a car person knows the Bugatti Veyron, knows it's 
was the most powerful car ever. Everyone outside of the car world knows what a Bugatti Veyron is. They know what a Lamborghini is. It's a car that rich people have. That's what an outsider would say. But then they'd also say the Bugatti Veyron is like supercar. Oh, nice. Come on, round the corner. Perfect. Awesome. Right, we have two more laps left to go. Right, 155.977. Let's see if we can beat that. It's very good. on that slip and slide to actually slow our car down. So I feel like that was more of a tactic than anything. Awesome. Getting through the tight S bends there very nicely. The fact is, these racetracks, they don't seem like they were designed as racetracks in mind. They seem like they were just normal roads that were converted into a racetrack. Like, nobody ever has designed a racetrack like this. But because it's Gran Turismo, it works. And it's perfect. Grand Valley Speedway. Better be coming back in Gran Turismo 7. Can you stop spinning out? Will I do a lap where I don't spin out? Probably not. I want to see all of the original tracks that were in this game back. And I want to see all of the uh, new like Gran Turismo tracks like Dragon Trail. That track's amazing. I want to see that in uh, Gran Turismo 7. Perfect. Right, slow down here. This is the final lap now, so... We don't have too much longer of this race to do. And then we'll be moving on to mission races. Perfect. I wonder if we'll get a special reward for this one. Because this is obviously quite a long championship, isn't it? It would be nice to see a special reward. Whether we'll get one's a different story. Perfect. Come on. And across the line. And that final lap was actually the fastest lap. Surprisingly. Really surprisingly. 
just below 10 minutes. We're the only car that managed to finish that in less than 10 minutes. Awesome. Right, let's see the uh, money rolling in. 28,000, nice. Three stars. And when we exit, let's see what reward we get. We get a gold trophy for finishing the championship in first. And also 35,000 credits. Nice. We're nearly up into uh, 400,000 now. Congratulations. You've completed the final international B-class event. Oh, awesome. Wow. Do we get anything extra? No. No car? No. Just a cool cutscene. Okay. Nice. Right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to start off with some of the mission races. We're going to start with uh, International B1, which looks to be some form of a Lamborghini. Then onto what looks like a Jaguar uh, around the Circuit de la Sar. Uh, then moving on to an Audi Quattro at Toscana. And then I think that's a Ferrari F40 we'll be driving for that one. Yes. And then the final one is a Lamborghini Miura. So let's start off with... What is this? I don't know what car this is. But we're aiming for a 36.5. Right, let's do this. Well, the answer to my question is uh, it's a Suzetta. Perfect. I'm just aiming for a silver time at the moment. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Might have crashed a little bit there. Not intended. But uh, definitely penalty worthy by the looks of it. Kintosh, stay out of my way. Okay, 37.093. That is a very decent first attempt. Nice. Let's take that 4,400 credits there. It's not a lot, but it's something. And let's move on to the second event. Right. Load in, load in. Ta-da. Right. We're going on the Circuit de la Sarthe. We're aiming for a 35 seconds. And we're doing basically the entire first section. So let's do. Right, let's go. Perfect, come on. Oh, so close to a gold there. I think we could give that another try, actually. And go. This is so much better already. Oh, that was so close.
Look at that, 34.655. That was an amazing difference. That in instant improvement, like, the whole point of Gran Turismo is that overall repetitive improvement after improvement. And it's such an addictive feeling just improving on your times every single time you do it. It is amazing. So much fun as well. And that's what I find attractive about this game. Is that improvement after improvement. Uh, next up is the Quattro S1 rally car. We're aiming for 51 seconds for the entire of the back end section there. This is sort of the really slow part. So hopefully we can do all right. Right, let's do this. Audi S1 Quattro. Stay out of my way. Come on, come on. Right, round the corner. Where's the finish line? Where's the finish? Here it is. Yes, gold medal first try. Awesome. 50.3 seconds. It was a very good time for that there. Very good time. 9,900 credits. Thank you very much. Let's move on to the fourth mission race. Which is going to be another sector thing. And then the final one I think is a lap race. Yeah, the final one is two laps. Oh, interesting. Right, so we are on the Ascari track now with the Ferrari F40. And we have a 43.3 second time to beat. Right, let's do this. Ascari track. Ferrari F430. It's not the F430, it's the F40. Ah, we spun out. Brilliant. That was karma for me calling it an F430, wasn't it? It's just an F40. To be honest, I don't... Oh no, we do have traction control. What are you doing? Get out of the way. Oh, you know what I might do? Uh, exit this. Um, and turn down my traction control, because I think it's on 5 right now. Uh, driving options. Traction control 2. Perfect. 43.3 we are aiming for, though. Ugh. Let's go. You crashed into me. So close. Okay. We are so close to that gold medal. We'll get that another time. But now we are on to the final uh, mission of the mission races. And this is going to be, I think it's a Lamborghini Miura against the uh, Lamborghini Aventador showdown. Uh, which will be really cool. Let's have a look. Here we go. Yes, it's a showdown between the two. Uh, we are doing a 150 to win. 1 minute 50. Right, let's do this. Lamborghini Miura. It's one of my favorite cars from Lamborghini. Go, go, go. Pop. 
perfect. So the only place we can actually overtake this Lamborghini is probably on the corners. Nice. What are you doing? You just brake checked me. You're supposed to go round the corner, not stop on it. That is ridiculous, honestly. The Lamborghini didn't stop on the corner like last time. To be fair, I don't even know what the Aventador is doing now. Like, the Aventador behind me is making no sense whatsoever. Perfect. Oh, nice. Perfect. It's not even an Aventador, it's a Murcielago. Oh, look at that. Only just in the gold medal zone. Awesome. And 9,900 credits for that. Brilliant. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, Discord and Instagram if you want to go check all of those out. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button or you can go and grab yourself some merch. Either would mean the world to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. Thank you.